guys, Susanna here. Um, I am just doing a video of um, some of the ideas that I was thinking for when I do down the garden path for next year's um, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery project. Um, I had a piece of linen. I don't know if you can see this here. And it turned like it was about, I cut it in half, so it was this long. I have it going that way. Where are we? It's quite long. Um, and I cut it in half and see if that's the same as what was on the top. And I'm going to have it quite long because I thought, you know, we're going to have 12 bits. So I want to do um, down the garden path and then I'm going to put it on this because I just think I've got a couple of reels but it just it's not big enough I really wanted to make something I've got um you know substantial and I've got a, some really nice vintage fabric so I'm gonna tie it on there with some of this rope and I've bought this for my um my ship my ship <laughs> well my sea my sea thing which is what I was going to do. I was going to continue doing this, but I'm pretty much, I'm almost done doing that. That's for my brother. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces, so I'm going to put a bit of that on there, tie that on to here. Um, I've still got to do mine yet. So I was going to do that today, but I thought, well, I'll nut out this. So it's quite long. I don't know how long it will be. I'm just going to fold it continue to fold it up um, so I figured if I do or half of it do about six on half at least I know and so I'm gonna do I got this um, stamp and um, and it was on some calico and then I just did um, watercolor because I thought every garden needs to start with a, um, a house and then I've got the path here. So what I want to do, so for the next prompt, I've got a feeling that they may do a house, but if they don't, um, you know, I've, I thought that's how I wanted to do mine. I wanted to start off on the top with a house and then I'll do that. And then in the next prompt will go into that. And so the, guard, the pathway will Miranda into the next prompt. So I'm going to probably do some canthus stitch or you know like just some straight stitch up and down here um, I might even con continue these flowers I thought I'm going to put the um, down the garden path I've just written that in in um, the, my friction pen and I folded the top over so I might leave that undone so um, so I'll just start a path there and once it gets to there I'm going to use some other fabrics and then I'll probably just put, you know, continue it and just flow it to be one big long wall hanging, which I'm going to end up hanging on a wall. So I thought I would start it now before we do it, just to get the first initial house out of the way, because I thought, you know, you've got to have the house and then you have the Miranda and garden as they um so that's what I wanted to do I mean and they may do that I've got a feeling they may do that but if they don't at least because I'm going to do a lot of embroidery on here so I thought I'll give myself a bit of a head start so uh, I'm going to embroider all around there and do some French knots and you know maybe just do some bit of grass and yeah so um it looks a bit funny now but by the time you do the embroidery in there um and yeah I just sort of it wasn't yeah I'll show you how wide it was it wasn't that wide um, so I had to have something on the side which I wanted anyway hang on a minute I'll go back down um, to you know incorporate some beautiful fabrics I got I think this this one might be left over from my French finds from um, Lisa and then this one is from the purveyor of recycled textiles that's from Melanie from 
um, uh, Melbourne. Now, and this one, I think I just bought at a vintage market. Got these ones from Lullaworth Blue, um, the vintage dollhouse. So it'll probably get in the way, but I'll just slowly roll it down over time. So what I might do today is, um, you know, I just had a bit of a layout and a bit of a play. So I thought I'll just get you a bit of an idea of what I'm doing. So here's some of the fabrics. I've even got, this is, I said, my old light if I reckon if I turn this off it'll stop flickering see it's a shocker can you still see I'm hoping but yeah whenever I have white on there it just flickers um I've got bits and pieces um this is from a big piece that has birds and everything all over the top so I just got that thought that would be really nice to you know if if they pick out an autumn theme, you know, somewhere down the, down the track. That would probably blend in really nice with that, actually, on the bottom there. So, and here's um, just a little linen piece that I they got. That was what I used in my um, textile stories um, with the bird on there, the last one I did. I bought this. thought that would probably be nice to grab a few bits and pieces. For the garden, very gardeny, <laughs> bit rather cute, and because it's they're nice and small, because you don't. I want to try and keep, um, just have small pieces. So I got this from Melanie, um, as well. I really like that. I think that is beautiful, that piece there, and even just two people sitting in the garden. You could really go to town, embroider that on the bottom. Maybe I thought the very last, last image. I don't know. All depends. Um, yeah, I've got a, gotten quite a few things from Melody. I've um, got this one as well. I just I'm liking the the green and brown, um, not green, green and blue. So this is a Liberty of London, but a different style. So a bit more. Um, I don't know. It just sort of reminded me of an Art Deco style. So you can know you could use little bits and pieces. I quite like that. You can get the flowers. I bought this one, and I think it is perfect. So gorgeous, and the perfect size too. Um, where are we? I mean, yeah. Look, look at that. That's um, you know, and the way that it's laid out. It's actually a little bit shiny so um you know it looks like a formal type garden so i like not so much those bits you could probably use this little bit but i love love that bit and you could probably um yeah it's, it's really good width actually yep so that can go somewhere down there and then this is actually I got that from a vintage attic. I'm just sort of showing you the and this is got like a lady in the potting shed. Um it said if it was a vintage Sanderson, I don't know, but I know I mean it's vintage, but uh yeah, so a lady in a potting shed, I thought that was really nice. Um just bits and pieces. So I have got more coming and I thought it was going to come today in the mail, but it didn't. I got that was when I did the birdhousing from when I went to Katoomba with Lisa Maddock. I thought that's a really good little size. And here's those big birds. Got a few. Look at this, it's beautiful. Now that's that other fabric I've got on top, so... love love the colors in that i mean look at this oh stunning so um you'd i'd probably if i had any of that i'd probably have them right on the bottom because they're quite big <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna try and get it in proportion and i mean i've got more 
Um, I saw this on Melanie's one and it was a real popular one. Everyone seemed to want to get it and it was right after they announced the uh, what they're doing down the garden path and I think it's um, it would be really good to do down the sides of it, you know, because you've got strips. So, um, yeah, I've got, I've got that. I think it's really cute, quite whimsical. Um, just have to make sure that it goes with what I want to do. So still got plenty of more bits and pieces and I'm keeping it in this little flower sack, all the bits and pieces. I love that. I think that's really pretty. So, um, you know, that would be a nice one to use. It just seems to go. But, um, yeah, and I've got all my, um, I'm going to be using some yo-yos and some lace and bits and pieces but for this one I thought I've got to do quite a bit of embroidery and I like to do the first one you know quite elaborate so um, I thought I'd get a bit of a head start so this is sort of a bit of an idea of what I want to do um, for my down the garden path and I thought you had we had to have the name of it so um, yeah yeah, and this one, I don't know if you can see it, um, it's an embroidery, I think it might be on a hanky or something. Um, very, very pretty. It needs a good iron. That might be a nice one to do. So, what I'll do is I'll put these aside and I'll get this. There we go. I just think that I had picked an, a, a few other bits and pieces, but I'm like, and then I put that down. I'm like, oh, how good does that go with this? So we're going to have a look at some um, threads. Um, I was thinking, I've got this thread here, and it's quite thin, but I'm thinking it's probably a bit too pink. Hmm. Bring it over here. We'll have a look. I'm just having a cup of tea. Ah, yummy, yummy. Um, hmm. Is that the same one? I think it is. Oh. No, I think that's probably the go. Sort of wanted that by the time you do that, you might even have a variegated light blue. I wanted to do something in here. I think that's probably a bit dark. Just a variegated colour. Um, doing some embroidery on there. That, that will work with that. And then with these, I was actually going to see if I can continue it around. Continue it around. Sort of like that, do a bit of stitching so it comes out in that similar colour. There we go. I like the way things sort of prop, like I like that, how that's going over that. And when I sewed it, I um, did the edge on, on them so that they're sitting flat there. And so I want the edges to sort of be like a little bit hanging over. I like how that's sort of hanging over there and this one's just on the edge. So um, that's the type of look I want to have. So what I'll do for now is we'll move these off there. And we'll... I think that's held down enough. And we'll get some of this with a thread. 
in the mid. So I thought, uh, just a bit of an introduction. This is, um, I was thinking of doing, like today's Saturday, the video, and then I was thinking maybe doing one more on Tuesday and then um, that will be the last one for the year. Um, I might just um, have a bit of a break. Haven't been feeling well the last couple of weeks. Um, good. Um, I don't know what it is. I keep testing myself for COVID. I think I've just got a cold and it's negative, which is good. But you just feel terrible. I just feel so tired. And I think it's just getting towards the end of the year. And, you know, you're getting busy. And your body's gone. I think you need a rest. So, okay. So, I will... Um, yeah, might be back on next Tuesday. Just, um, you know... To say goodbye for the the week. So I might just go along here. And it's a beautiful linen, so um, I think it'll so nicely. Do I keep it straight now? I've got a bit of a new setup here. No. I'm going to go straight, but then because the piece is crooked, you don't always end up going straight. Yeah, I think that's not a bad, not a bad colour. So. With my um, vintage sewing techniques, it's going to be a lot more, um, you know, it's not going to be, it's not going to be perfect. They're really quite simple, but it's going to be a little bit more structured. So um, I like the idea that this is, you know, just a little bit more organic, but, you know, not as organic as it could be, because I'm just not like that. <laughs> I'm just a bit of a perfectionist on the bit of a shocker at trying to be a bit more laid back okay. Pin. might come back and just go and um, catch the edge see I'm going straight but I might have to go back a bit closer to the edge So that's my thinking on doing this and some of the fabrics and bits and pieces that I'm going to be doing. So I'm jumping the gun a bit, but um, I thought I want to get a bit of a head start and have my house done probably take until the new year to get it finished anyway so I might stop it there and then come back up turn it around because we don't know what we're going to be putting on there so I'll come back up here And um, embroider these little bits just to hold them down. You can get very quiet when you're busy stitching like Rachel did the other day I can totally relate so here's a bit that sort of come apart so I'll just grab what I can and continue on 
Just veer off to the side. I know what I can do here. Just to make it work, I might just do a few stitches like this. There we go. So it's not, so it's sort of being held down, but then it gives it a bit of texture. Working with what you got. And that sort of highlights the scraggliness of the of the fabric. Some of them are probably a tad long. There we go. Might go over the top of that. There we go. And probably go underneath and then start again a bit up here. There we go. And hold it down. There we go. Don't know if you can see that or not. Well, that's good. It blends in. <laughs> so, um, what else am I going to do with this? I was thinking, um, wouldn't mind doing a bit of seed stitching. I've actually, this I've left raw, but this I've folded down, so I've got to do a bit of a running stitch on that. A little noise you can hear is the heat robot in the background makes this funny little noise. Yes, we're in summer. And the heat is being on. I've, oh, it's just been crazy, crazy weather for this time of the year. You could almost say we're going to have a white Christmas. Is that that blooming cold? Now, yeah. so, move that over there. I might. Collect those last little bits. It's going to go underneath the yo yos, I think. It's amazing how quickly you use the thread. I'm already at the near the end of using the thread. Okay. Okay. Suck it in. And then I'm going to start about there. Don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll bring it up. There you go. Nothing fantastic, but enough to hold it down. Give it a bit of texture. And I'll just start again down here until that's being used. Okay. Now this is going to be a fun project, I can tell. 
I'm sure it's um, be interesting to see all the different um, gardens that people are going to make and different ideas that they'll have. So would it be nice? Okay, I'll go underneath and finish that later. Whereas this, I think. I am going to get a bit of this. I was thinking of maybe sort of going around like that, but I don't know. I don't know. I think it'd probably be nice to do maybe a little bit of smoke coming out of the chimney. So for now, I was thinking. Um, I'm just holding that down. And I'm wondering because I've got holes. I can go in the holes. I think that might look nice. Use what you've got. There we go. I don't know if I could zoom it in a little. You probably can't see. Zoom it in. There we go. Now if I stay there and don't move, we should be right. Okay. Incorporate your pattern with what you've got now with the um down the garden path i was thinking of maybe doing that in brown it might be nice It's the trouble when you have um, a thing that's too long. Too long. So. Okay. in progress I'll come back when the girls actually start it next year and work on it with them I'm gonna pre-record my vintage sewing project so when I'm in France the whole month of May I'm going to be gone so that the month of May whatever the prompt or whatever it is I think you get two prompts a month um, I'm I'll probably uh, gonna have to work on them when I get back <laughs> so um, so it's probably not a bad thing I've got a bit of a head start um, but uh, yes I'm gonna be away enjoying myself for a long-awaited dream holiday can't wait it's, it's come up pretty fast it's actually only four and a bit months away when I leave. Yay! So. Be nice to see my brother. I haven't seen him for quite a few years. 
maybe to the start of 2019 I think was the last time I saw him so it's been a few years There we go, you had to see the stitching on my knees. And then, I was thinking, um, whether I do a bit of a seed stitch or, I don't know. Or just a bit of stitching here and there to make it look like the sky. There we go. I was just going to do a running stitch here, but I think this is probably nicer. It just works a little better. Um, yeah. It works really well doing watercolour. It it's, takes more work. Um, if you use a you know, watered down acrylic paint, it is good too, but it can get a bit cloggy and then it's a bit thicker to sew through. Or as I find the watercolour, um, or even water watercolour pencils or ink tense pencils. Um, you know, they're just not as thick and they don't clog up the fabric as much so you can actually sew through them. So that's my personal experience. It's not the be all and end all. So, um, okay. Now, I'll just sew that off. Um, yeah, nice piece of linen, which... I just tore in half and sewed together so I think it's going to be alright. I'm going to just have it on like you know like in in one of the spaces in your house that's got long skinny wall. Um, I'll probably put in one of those and after six months of working on it I think it deserves to be in a nice spot. It'll be fairly detailed. So Um, hmm. just wondering whether I do a running stitch across that I don't know so what I'm going to do is go around the chimney I'm going to I've seen Jesse Chorley do this um, on some of her work where she's got little seed stitches coming out of the chimney and it looks really cute. I might have it going on a bit of a Miranda. There we go. So, um, and then you can sort of see a little bit of purple. I was thinking, actually, you know what I might do? This is a um, you know, I'll be able to iron this off. I sort of want. I wouldn't mind just doing a tiny little running stitch in some of the colours, just to go. around the clouds that's a bit of purple there um, here as well okay. Even though this isn't clouds, it's just gotten a little bit darker. I might 
make it look like it is clouds okay and then these are going to be more bushes um, might do something really small yeah there we go using the the clouds to form the shape there you go i think that'll look cute and then once i've ironed um stitched and then i can go on the iron and it'll get rid of any of the marks okay See, i think i might go down and up so get rid of that one that's cute so where are we so maybe With that really slight purple this is a way of getting it done so really light 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 see that's more pink because this is a little bit more purple yeah might use that and then this one here these are a little bit more on the bluey side. So what we're going to do is just do tiny little running stitches, which will hold them down. So when it comes to stuff like that, I like working with the, the shape of the fabric. Um, not the, you know, where the, the, um, the painting has gone. Let's look, can you see, can you see that? Oh yeah, you are fairly close. Oh, that's cute. It's going to be really cute. So this way you still get, it's a quick way of getting a little bit of texture. It's holding it down. Um, and, you know, sort of looking a little bit like clouds what I might do let's just do some teeny little ones around here go underneath come up here And continue on over here and once I've ironed that all you'll be left with is this bluey color this will give me a bit of a knot I'm glad this is a you know like with the heat that it can that you can iron it off so go around See as it is, I am sti stitching in the places that and, um, they're not being so. I think might go down just a tad. And might make that the last one. cute okay come back up and because it's variegated it'll look okay and so I'll get that purpley one in on some of those purple purple clouds okay guys well it's probably been enough for now got the drift of what I'm wanting to do 
Yep, that's rather cute. So I'll continue up and down here. Um, that'll go up there. This will go here. Um, yeah. And then go around that. I thought 240. I'll just put that on there because it matches, but can be number 240. So, um, yeah, I like how it's looking. I will zoom it out again. Oh, 40 minutes. Nope. And it's gone quite a while. And uh, yeah, I'll come back and then next year you'll see, I'll probably have it see it finished and I'll, I'll work on a little bit more on the first one that they I we do with the with the girls. So a bit of a, a sneak peek on what I have any intention of doing for next year. And I'm very excited to do that and also the vintage sewing. So I'm really excited about what's happening next year. Okay guys, thank you very much. Um hope you have a happy Christmas and a fantastic new year and I will catch you around. Bye.